Hey guys, welcome back to, um, you know, everything that I did before, and now we're in Canva, and right now, it really just depends what you're going to be using Canva for. Right now, let's say you wanted to do an Instagram post. They have a bunch of fun little designs over here, if you're doing this for fun. And then, if you wanted to just do a story, it has all of these fun stuff. Like logos, Facebook posts, flyers, Instagram stories, posters, mobile videos, invitations, t-shirts, YouTube thumbnails, and more. But um, if you guys also just want to get it in an easier way, an easier way to do this is at the top now. Canva has edited it. You can just search up any words like that to help you find like maybe what you're looking for like blue maybe like sky like posts and it can find whatever you might be looking for for example maybe i was just looking for something like this it's really easy to find stuff on canva now that they do this but also an easier way Sometimes it's kind of confusing if, like, you're new to Canva, and it's kind of hard to, um, like, figure out how to make your own. On Canva, if you guys are new to Canva, there's actually a button, like a little plus sign, and if you just press it, it's actually just going to take you to make whatever you want. Now you're going to have to choose what you're going to be looking for. Um, right now, I'm going to choose a YouTube thumbnail, just because, you know, I have a YouTube channel myself, and... Plus, maybe I can just make, like, a thumbnail for this. When you first press on it, actually, it's going to come up with a bunch of designs. And the bottom uh, button over there is designs. And over here, if you just want it to, like, give you a head start, you can look at all these and see what it comes with. And let's say, hey, you just don't like it. Well, and maybe you just want to create your own. Well, if you swipe up, then you just have a blank page. What you can do is tap on the blank page, and at the bottom, there should be a color. You can choose whatever color you want to do it. You can also search up colors sometimes. I just prefer to use. There's normal colors, like there's default colors, There's and then there's gradients. I really like gradients a lot. I use them a lot in my videos, so you guys can just choose um my favorite um gradients ones are this and this one and this one but you guys can choose whatever one you want and my favorite default colors are this this and this but you can choose whatever colors you want and then let's say you want to delete it you can easily press this button it'll delete the color and probably all your work too and well maybe now if you want to add like um if you want to add some elements or little designs press the plus button that should be on the on the bottom left when you press it it's going to take you back to designs and at the bottom there should be a bunch of stuff saying like design elements text gallery brand uploads draw apps projects and background and let's say you want elements right you're gonna press on elements and it will probably come up with a little search bar at the top if you press on this you can search up whatever you want um honestly i think right now for example i can just search up like a cat okay maybe a cat paw and some of these will like come up like graphics like colors and drawings like the top row the next might be photos of real life actual kitty cats and the last one might just be videos or audios all audios on canva and all editing apps are usually not copyright so feel safe to use them for youtube videos and tiktoks next if let's say um okay i'm gonna choose a paw right 
I chose this pot. You can design to put it wherever you want, and Canva is actually very helpful, and it kind of lines up where you put it to make it look perfect, like little purple lines. And it can actually really help you. Sometimes it might get annoying. There's no use for it, so you should probably just stop searching how to fix that. But now, if you press the plus again at the bottom, there should be one that says text. And if you look here sometimes, you might be looking here and you're like, oh my gosh, I... I want to choose what I'm writing. I don't want this to choose what I'm writing. Well, actually, if you just press on these, this is just the font you're going to use. If you erase it, though, be careful when you erase it. Sometimes you can erase the entire box. If you just erase it, though, you can write whatever you want, like cat, kitty, videos. It's actually super fun. Sometimes, though, the pages might not be enough. I'd prefer to make them little. The way to make them smaller and a longer are actually really easy. In order to make them smaller, there's usually a circle around these if you're new. You just get your thumb or your index finger and push it down. It'll tell you when it's got too big or when it's gotten too small because usually it'll just appear. Next, you can make it longer by pressing on these lines. And let's say you messed up and you just want to delete it, easily just tap on it and you'll delete it. Tap on it and there should be a trash button. And let's say you want to draw. What you can do is on, on um, the bottom, there should be something that says a draw. If you press on draw, you can choose whatever colors you want by pressing on the colors. You can choose whatever colors you want, but I don't usually like using the draw button. Next, you can use what kind of, how big you want it, how small you want it, if you want it like that, if you want it like that, or if you want it like a highlighter. Then, let's say you need to erase it. This button, the pink one, is the eraser. You can easily erase it though, so you kind of have to be careful. Let's say you want to delete the element tap and delete and if you ever want to save it what you're going to do is you're going to want to press on this then it should be done but we don't want to do that right now thank you for watching please like and subscribe all for more